Richard Longstreth. I'm not. There's nothing weird in the last name because it is like. But you get weird mispronunciations. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, it should be obvious. It's sort of like mine, where it's like, it's, it's not cockish. Like my last name's not cockish. Like how would you, how could you come to that conclusion? All right. Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here at the Libertarian Party of Arizona State Convention in Tucson. I am joined by Richard Longstreth, and aside from being the Region 1 representative on the LNC, you have a couple other titles in the party. What, what other responsibilities have you taken on with the LP, Richard? Sure. So uh, currently, uh, in addition to being the LNC Region 1 rep, I'm also uh, the alternate to the National Platform Committee, um, as well as a full participating member on the Bylaws and Rules Committee um, and an uh, active participant on the Affiliate Support Committee. He's put his time in. He's banged his head against enough bureaucratic walls to have some credibility in the party telling us about what directions we should be pursuing. And just today announced that he is a candidate for vice chair of the Libertarian Party. So, Richard, um, I know this is, this is a really tough question, but um, how did you come to hate yourself enough to volunteer for such a position within the party? Sure. Well, I, I just see that there's a lot of opportunities within the party as far as uh, developing professionalism and that sort of thing. We've done a really good job of taking the party to, from 1972 to where we're at now. Uh, but the next thing we need to do is figure out how to take us to that next level. And it's a shame, as an example, that uh, in the last two years we were able to get a balanced budget. But prior to that, we went several years without one. Um, it's a shame that we didn't have a fundraising department. We had a fundraising person or a development person. And now we finally have a department. So I want to take some of those ideas, those concepts we've developed, developed uh, in the last two years while I've been on the LNC um, and see what we can do to continue to push our organization to new professional heights and see where that takes us and see if we can really be that that third option that people are striving for that they're craving um, and see if we can resonate our message just a little bit stronger with them wait a second professional are you trying to say uh, and, and I'm, I'm taking personal offense as one of the cats being herded here are you trying to say that the herd of cats known as the Libertarian Party is not professional? <laughs> well, not not necessarily. I mean, we are a professional organization. We, we do really good at what we do. But in order to move to the kind of the next level, we've got to figure out ways to to connect with people we've never connected with before. And some of the things we hear from people when we talk, talk to them is that they don't understand where we're coming from. They don't view us as a legitimate organization. Um, a lot of people still don't even know that we have 50 state ballot access. So as vice chair, I'm going to do my best to make sure we continue ballot access uh, on all 50 states. I'm going to do my best to make sure that we continue to develop programs that take us to that next level not to discredit anything that was done in the past but we can do so much more and i know our volunteer based and activist base is there that we can do whatever we put our minds to we just need somebody to come together and, and bring it all together so about that you know it's it, the, the average american voter isn't going hey i'd support the libertarian party but they're not professional enough obviously that's that's not the point you know people are looking for politicians who are genuine who are authentic who who can represent them by general generally respecting their freedom and, and that's the the ultimate pitch of the party of principle of, of us the libertarians to say your rights should be respected so the purpose of all of this professionalism that, that you want to bring to the party isn't so that we have a better organized office in alexandria obviously it's so that we can deliver a message that resonates with the american public what is it about the libertarian message that that, that you think is the, the the best manifestation of all the work and effort that you're putting into the lp that you want to see front and center to reach the average american voter Sure. Well, I think the, the most important message we can send to people is that the true philosophy of the Libertarian Party is one that says, as long as you're not hurting anybody or taking their stuff, you should be able to do whatever you want to do without question. And it's that simple. Um, and we've done a really bad job at sometimes messaging that. Um, and so I'm excited about some of the projects I already mentioned, the uh, development department uh, really coming into fruition this last year. Uh, but I also think that uh, the Frontiers uh, project that's going on, uh, that is going to be huge as far as training our candidates, training a uh, uh, campaign leaders across the country um, and it starts kind of right here in region one however there are states that were not initially involved in the original uh, rollout that have now started to show interest colorado is one of those that heard about it talked with uh, apollo pazel who's uh, running kind of that program and has been able to then take it and say well we like that idea so much we're going to start to integrate it and those are the things that when i talk professionalism that i want people to see that's what we need to move to that's how we need to improve ourselves and with that as we continue to spread that message people will realize that our philosophy is elect us that way we can leave you alone and and that's where we need to get to is really making sure that we have clear concise ways to communicate that
Awesome. Thank you so much, Richard. Best of luck in this campaign. Really looking forward to seeing some of the debates coming up in, in our upcoming state conventions. Any last thoughts or ways you want to uh, give people a, a chance to connect with you, websites, emails, anything like that? Sure. If you want to find me right now, the only thing I have is uh, Facebook, so facebook.com slash libertarianlongstreth. Uh, you can also uh, email me at libertarianlongstreth at gmail.com or richard.longstreth at lp.org, and I'll uh, get, on you, uh, get to you back on uh, all of those uh, means. So, yep. Beautiful. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.